We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the skies. Math is the best subject, you kind of need it for everything later on in life. And just get to interact with the kids, build relationships, and watch them kind of grow. Every other week we keep track to see if we're getting better. Now all the silly little shenanigans that we do, there's a reason why we do it and it's to make you better at basic facts, make you better at retention, make you better at recall. So when you do have fraction problems, decimal problems, all you have to do is say, oh wait, I know what that is. You don't have to look at the chart. You don't have to uh, lean on your calculator. If you don't have creativity, things get kind of stale and boring. So what I try to do is I get them up, I get them moving around, try to play a little music, incorporate, you know, songs, raps, dances, things like that, just to kind of keep them engaged. We got those gun shows, but what are we doing now? Flex them if you got them. You got to stretch out. We do that in Honestly, I think they enjoy just being in class because half the time when the bell rings, they're like, is it really time to go yet? Yes, it is. So half the time they don't even realize they're in math class. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up some proportions and we got to figure out how many rooms are they going to each clean themselves. What do you got for me, Katie? I would want them to take away that it's okay to fail as long as you figure out what made you fail and then try not to duplicate that. 